Are you ready to share your voice beyond the grid? With Shorts, you as an educator can create compelling videos with the powerful Flipgrid recorder, which can then be shared with anyone, anywhere. Whether you record a short to provide an exemplar for a class project for your students, create a tutorial to share with your colleagues, or use the recorder to create a unique introduction to share with your Friday night book club on Twitter. It's really up to you and your imagination with regards to how you will use Shorts in Flipgrid. To access Shorts you've previously recorded or to record a new Short, simply click on the Shorts tab here along the top of the Educator Admin or Dashboard in Flipgrid. Let's start by taking a closer look at how we can record a Short. So here I am in the Shorts tab of my Educator Admin or Dashboard, and I simply click on the Record a Short button to launch the Flipgrid Recorder. Now, before I start recording, I just want to point out that if you want to organize your thoughts and ideas before you hit the Record button, you can always click the Add Sticky Note button to add a digital post-it note onto your screen. Keep in mind that this digital post-it note will not appear in your recording, but it is an amazing space for you to jot down a few key points or a few key words, uh, ideas that you want to remember to include in your recording. Let's just close that. All right, along the bottom, you will see the flip camera button to flip the camera view. You have the recording button as well as an upload button. If you click the upload button, notice that you can upload a video or upload a sticker. If you have created a video segment using a different video recording tool or extension and you've saved that to your device, you can always upload that segment here to add to your shorts video. Let's click return. We'll talk about stickers in a moment. All right, now, before I start recording, I can also set the tone for my video by choosing a filter. So simply click on the filter menu to open a wide variety of filters. Let's go ahead and add super cool. And again, to turn off that menu, simply click off of it. I can also add text overlay to add context to my video. Simply click on the text button and select from a variety of colors, of fonts, as well as styles. Let's go ahead and select that and I could add a short message or title or keyword or phrase. I'm going to go ahead and add a hashtag. And I can click off of that text and click on it again in order to resize it. And I can move it around on my recording window. In addition to adding text for context, I also have stickers. Now, I can click the stickers button here to launch the stickers menu where I can choose from a variety of emojis, people, accessories, reactions, and those magical Flipgrid stickers. Let's go ahead and choose one. Can move it around the recording window and resize it. But I can also click the upload button and click upload a sticker. Now I can select any JPEG or PNG file or image and upload that as a sticker to add context to my video. All right, now I'm ready to record, so I'll simply click the record button. Keep in mind you only have three minutes, but I wanna talk about something really special about the record feature. So if I click record, let it count down, and let's say that I was introducing myself, I can pause my recording now, if I wanted to, I could hit record again, or I could simply click the next button. Countdown. Countdown. 
And, and let's, let's say let's just pause that. Notice that I can click on the clip down. And, and I can trim this clip. So I can either remove content from the beginning or I can remove content at the end. Let's say someone walks by your video and you don't want them in your video, you can always cut them out. Once you've done your trim, simply click on the green plus button here to confirm. Down. And, and we can go ahead and click the add more time. And when we're ready, we can click record. If we want, we can clear our canvas, change our filter, add new text, add new stickers, and we can hit record and continue talking about uh, what it is we're talking about for our short. Notice that we do have a remaining time of about two and a half minutes. Let me hit pause again and next. Down. I want and you to notice that now I have two segments. If I want to, I can click on that new and segment and I can trim it. And Down. if I go back, and I can also reorganize segments by and simply clicking and dragging the segment to Down. where I want it to be. And I can keep adding additional segments until I've used up the time. So keep in mind for shorts, you have three minutes of recording time. So you can have unlimited segments until you've used up that three minute time. All right, I'm going to click on add more to add one more segment to this video. And this time I'm going to flip into whiteboard mode. I'm going to click on the whiteboard icon and notice I can select between whiteboard or blackboard. I'm going to go ahead with whiteboard. Notice that the drawing tool turns on and I can adjust my pen or pencil color by simply dragging the dot along the color line. And once I'm ready, I can go ahead and hit record. Now, this is perfect if I wanted to demonstrate a mathematical equation, label a diagram, maybe do up a quick sketch note for students, um, or really uh, anything creative that I'd like to draw on this canvas. So let me just draw out a math equation for you. And while I'm recording, I could then proceed to solve the equation and talk through my steps and thought process. Again, once I've finished recording this segment, I'll click the next yeah. button and yeah. I can preview my video. Again, I can select that last clip to trim it. I can move it around by clicking and dragging. Yeah. And, and let's just and once I'm ready, I can then click next. Now I have to take a selfie for my video thumbnail. Remember that I can decorate my selfie. I can turn on a filter. I can add text. I can add stickers. I can add digital ink. I could even flip into whiteboard and add inking as well as stickers and emojis. Let's just switch back. When I'm ready, I go ahead and I click on the camera. And if I'm satisfied with my selfie, I click next. And we give it a minute to upload our video. Remember that once your short has been uploaded to Flipgrid, you will be able to find it and access it in the shorts tab of your educator admin or dashboard. From here under my shorts, you are able to select your short and share it. And we'll talk about sharing shorts in the next video.